like Rusty Gooch and Hojo and uh, Garbe and Johnny Grubb, I pitch you, boom. Uh, you know, give this guy rest. Boom, Doug Baker coming in for Tram, just to, you know, maybe Tram's not going to hit in the eighth and ninth inning. Come in, give him a couple, just first relief for a couple of innings. Mm -hmm. That's what I, that's what it happened. I think Sparky did a great job doing that. And I think that's why, one of the keys, we didn't have any injuries. And that was a key. That's what said, I, yeah. I think about, um, well, it was his expertise training, VO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go get some script and put some ice on your I go, thanks, VO. But I think that, I mean, if teams don't get injured, I think that they'll give them a better chance after to win it. I mean, last year we had a couple injuries in the Tigers where Phil Cabrera hurt himself a little bit and, and maybe some pitchers didn't you know, come through. But if you minus that equation, that's what makes a good team. Well, I think, um, I, I actually really think it's our age, because the fans that were 80, 85, they loved us. Our, our age, I'm 57, they love us. And I think maybe the parents that are my age had their kids go, you should Google this 84 team, because they were really good. And so they have this, like, oh, well, they we're really good. So I think sometimes there's a, about a 60-year, you know, um, span of people watching us and uh, figuring us out and, and Maybe um, got a whole lot figured out who we are and how good a team we really were. So that was good. <laughs> Cut! Now, 104 <laughs> victories, Dave. This team will go down as one of the good greatest. To see you yeah, good to see you too. Uh, how will history look at this team in terms of greatness in your mind? Well, in my mind, I think it's one of the best teams ever played uh, in their area of baseball. I think that we had an unbelievable manager. I think our coaches were spectacular. Roger Craig, I mean, he was one of the best pitching coaches and the smartest ones I've ever seen. And our team from one to nine, we were unstoppable. And I, I think a lot of teams look at us going, well, that Tiger team, I thought maybe we could have won more. I mean, if I wasn't even on the team, I think in 85, I mean, the East Division was so good at the time that it was hard to repeat. Because when you, when you win it, they come after you. They, everybody wants to beat you because you don't, they beat you, they have a decent team. I mean, that's, that's the way it is. Do you ever go back to Michigan and Trumbull? I was here today with okay. Lou. Right. So we went down there with the, the Navin Field ground crew, and they were there, big time. So I brought Lou up, picked him up at the hotel, and we went to second base and pitchers mound, took a picture, and it was, those guys were very, very happy. Like, some of the players came out. I wish there were more, but I'm not a babysitter of 50-year-old guys. So what was the feeling like? <laughs> was it emotional in any way when you got on that field? Well, it, it was emotional, but there was no stands. Yeah. Some good guy gave a home run up there, there. So I'm going, oh, there were Brooks Lumber. <laughs> well, there's hoops. So it was kind of cool scene in that sense. I mean, I wish they would have kept something of the stadium. So the fans and kids and colleges and high schools could have played a little bit of baseball there just to show because of the memories and the ghosts that played there. I mean, Babe Ruth, I was thinking about this today. Babe Ruth, DiMaggio, Mano, uh, Greenberg. Yeah. I mean, and then all the Tigers, too. It's like, it's pretty cool. So. Yeah, it was, but it's it's done. It was Whatever. Frozen. You got the D tattooed on your arm. That's right, Why big boy. That? Why do you do that? What do you say what that means to you? Well, my daughter said, Dad, we're going to buy you a tattoo for your birthday. Like, what are you going to give me? So we went to the tattoo shop and said, No, no, no skull. No, no, no. I want to get the D. And I'm going to put number 19 in it. So it's, it means a little extra. Put my number in it because I pay for the team. I, I am uh, allowed to wear this without being like a rebel. <laughs> when did you do it? When I was 50. It's my 50th birthday. So, almost eight years ago. What's it like when you guys get together, like last night? Um, it's good. I think a lot of times, it's sometimes it's a little better if there was no press and some other people. It's a little bit different when you can get maybe your 10 guys you hung around and hit a pub and get some cold ones. Tell us, reminisce about that and what you're doing with kids and family. It's a little bit different, but last night was a very nice function. Great food. Good to get together. Um, you know, a few, but everybody was kind of spaced out. Different tables, but it was always nice seeing everybody. I enjoyed it. What does this event today mean to you? A lot. It shows me that uh, you know, the Illich family and Mr. Illich uh, 
a great Tiger fan, a great Tiger owner, and take time out to represent a team that he didn't have. What he, what he's, what I'm hoping he's looking for, um, to take the time out to show the fans what kind of team we had. I mean, we had a great team. We had one of the best teams ever hit uh, a ball field. So he's recognizing it for us today.